All right, so now we are doing at meal three. Um, for this one, I'm gonna be making 96-4 ground beef um, with spaghetti squash. So I love spaghetti squash. It's kind of like one of the vegetables that I always use. Um, obviously I can enter um, or switch it out with like any of my green vegetables, asparagus, green beans, broccoli, whatever, but I just prefer spaghetti squash. It's very easy to make. Um, what I'll do is I'll take just an actual regular spaghetti squash that I just bought from the store, cut it in half, um, scoop out the seeds and all the stuff in the middle, and then literally face it um, face down. I put a little bit of salt and pepper before I faced it down, put it in the oven for about maybe 40 minutes or depending on whatever the skin is a little soft. Right now it's it's really soft, so I hope it's not overly done. Um, and then I'll pop it in there once it's soft, like I said, go ahead and take it out. So right now all I have left is the ground beef that I'm making. I have added some onions in here, just because I prefer to add onions in with my ground beef. And the seasonings that I have used for this is black pepper again, Himalayan salt. We have parsley, and then I always like to use cayenne. Um, I do like my stuff really, really hot, so I prefer to use it in my ground beef. So that's what I have used for this. My ground beef is almost done. And I always will drown my ground beef just to get off the extra um, excess fat as well, which I would definitely recommend. Especially if you end up storing a lot of your meats and things like that, because a lot of times it's, it makes that little uh, cakey fat um, congeal that you'll see on the bottom. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but you're gonna notice it in like the plastic containers too. So I'm gonna drain it. So for this meal, I'm going to be eating just use this. So I'm going to be eating for this one four and a half ounces of ground beef and about four ounces of the spaghetti squash. And once the spaghetti squash is done, the best way to kind of peel it apart, which is probably still really hot, um, is just to kind of take it and take the fork and just kind of pull it apart. And you'll notice that it's very, very easy once it's done. And it'll just come off in like strands. Sometimes you can actually even put it in the boat, like the spaghetti boat. Um, and some people can put like ground beef in it. They'll maybe add like cheese to it as well and then pop it back in the oven just to kind of warm it up and eat it out of the spaghetti squash. 
That's also another good way. But obviously if you're really trying to track what you're eating, um, the best way to do it is just to take it and just kind of measure it out. Okay, so I think we we'll use that. So the macros for this one is, let's see, I think it's 24 grams of protein. Um, we have eight grams of carbs and five grams of fats. So the end product looks like this. And it, like I said, super, super good. Um, very quick, easy to make. You know, ground beef takes no time. Spaghetti squash, just put it in the oven and it's done in about 40 minutes.